The game of playoff baseball has been played for well over 100 years, and when October comes around, it means playoff baseball. The south side of Chicago have not been familiar with those two words in a while, as the Chicago Cubs have not won a national pennant since 1945 and a World Series since 1910. With that being said, the curse of the Billy Goat is what many Cubs fans believe is responsible for their trials and tribulations. Let's take a look to see how Lynn University's Chicago natives think about their Chicago Cubs. It's not with a curse, I think it's just bad play. Cubs, I mean, you think back, you know, the Bartman play, just missed coincidence, but it was all just, it was all accentuated by the fact that Gonzalez made the error, Pryor couldn't get another out, and then that sucked, and then we just, we haven't been playing good baseball. So, but now we got good baseball, good talent for the future. So, do I believe in Billy Goat Curse? No. Do I believe in bad baseball? Yes. And that was bad baseball we played. Well, for me, my dad's partner was actually from Chicago, so he was a Cubs fan, so he taught me all about the Cubs, even though I was a Yankee fan. But they had a great pitching staff. They had Mark Pryor, Kerry Wood. Those are their top two guys. And you look now, and they got John Lester and Jake Arrieta, and then they got pieces like Jason Hamill. They got young guys in the pen. Um, offensively, they had leaders like Sammy Sosa, Moises Alou, Alex Gonzalez. Those are older guys, which you always want veterans, but now they got these young bucks that are out there hungry, eager. They got Rizzo, who's a leader, even though he's young. They got uh, David Ross behind the dish, who's a, been around the league for 15 years. So they got a good mix of leadership and, and rookies. So I think if you look at them now, I think they have a better future than when they had Sosa and Alou and Gonzalez and Pryor and Wood. The, the Mets went in there with a better pitching staff early. I mean, Arietta and Lester had a great year, but I think the Mets were more hungry. But the Cubs got a bright future. They got a bunch of young guys, good manager, good clubhouse. So I think they got a bright future ahead of them. As you can see, Cubs fans are loyal to their team and don't blame a Billy Goat for their horrific baseball play in the past. But with the star-studded young talent they have in that roster, the future is bright, and this season was an obvious example of improvement and a sign for better things to come. This is Alex Turner reporting for the iPulse.